Welcome to Manjula Devi Murugesh Software Training Center. In this tutorial, we are, what we are going to see is duct sizing using equal friction method. Okay, in that method one using formula because so many methods are available. Using formula you can do duct sizing and uh, using table and charts you can do. Okay, but here what we are going to do is we are going to use the formula. Okay, before entering to the main formula, we are going to see important formulas. Okay, for rectangular duct, the area A is equal to W by D. Round, round or circular duct, the area A is equal to pi D E square divided by 4. D is nothing but equivalent diameter. Okay, now duct size sizing using equal friction method. In this method, friction loss inside the duct is kept constant. Okay, throughout the duct lighting. We are going to maintain the same friction loss, but at, in practical, it's not possible. Okay, the, uh, along the uh, duct, uh, along the duct, the friction loss will increase. But here we are going to maintain the same friction loss. This in this method is useful for small commercial building, uh, residential building. For that, we can use the FL. This is equal to. 0.109136 into q to the power 1.9 divided by de to the power 5.02 where fl is equal to friction loss in inches of water column per 100 feet q is equal to discharge in cfm de is equal to equal diameter in inches and we are having another formula q is equal to va where q is equal to discharge in cfm v is equal to velocity in cfm a is equal to area in square feet Okay, discharge. Okay, that is what we are going to use. Okay, next one. Note if friction FL value is 0.08 to 2.2, then we can use the same friction value. If not, we cannot use this method. Actually, if you are going to want to use the friction loss method, okay, the friction loss should be between 0.08 to 0.2. Okay, if it be beyond this, we cannot use this method. Okay, next. This is the formula for duct sizing using, sorry, tabular column for duct sizing using equal friction method. Here, notice there, discharge Q in CFM, velocity V in FEM, friction loss FL in inches of water column per 100 feet, equal and diameter DE in inches, duct area A in square feet, duct uh, size w by d in inches aspect ratio w by d aspect ratio w by d 0 0.2524 in somebody uh, there is two concepts are available some guy says 0 0.2524 is okay some guy says 1 to 4 is only a okay okay it depends on your local area standards okay now you are going to see a simple calculation Actually, from AH we need to calculate, okay, from AH what is CFM. But here, to understand the concept, I have just taken a simple drawing, okay, simple schematic drawing. So, for each air terminal, 500 CFM, totally two, two air terminals are there. So, total 1000 CFM, velocity is 900 FPM, okay, this is my calculation part okay now we are going to make us a node 1 node 2 so this is for this thing okay first node 1 okay and node 2 while entering discharge q in cfm come in reverse direction first note down this then go for this because if you are having three or four nodes okay for example just I'm having another node uh, three uh, node three. There may be a 600 CFM. Okay, so if you are coming in the, this direction, we cannot find out easily. So if you are going coming in this direction, okay, node three will be 600, node two will be 600 plus 500, 1100, then plus 500, 1600 CFM. That's why you have to come in the lower node. That is from reverse direction. Okay, so 500 CFM. Next one, this one is 500, this one is 500, so total 1000 CFM. 
velocity is 900 CFM. Now we need to find out the friction loss. Okay, what is the formula for friction loss? Friction loss Q is sorry, FL is equal to 0 0.109136 into Q to the power 1.9 divided by DE to the power 5.02. We are having Q, but DE we don't have. Okay, for what to do? We are having both Q and V. So using this formula. Q is equal to V. We can find out area from using area area using this formula. We can find out the DE. Then substitute everything here and find out the friction loss. Okay. So this I'm going to open paint. Okay. So we are having. Q is equal to 1000 CFM, V is equal to 900 FPM, okay, A is equal to what? We are having formula Q is equal to V into A. So, A is equal to Q divided by V, okay. So, is equal to thousand divided by nine hundred is equal to we will open the calculator better have a scientific calculator with you so then will be it will be useful normal calculator we cannot use because we are having q to the power one point nine so x to the power we need so better use the scientific calculator so thousand divided by nine hundred so one point one one this is square feet what we need is square inch okay because d is in inch after finding d in feet we can convert that to inches but better you convert here itself okay 12 inches equal to 1 feet that means square feet means 12 into 12 144 so you need to multiply by 144 so into 144 so what we are getting is 160 square inch okay now we are having a is equal to pi d square divided by 4 what we need d square is equal to area into oh sorry into 4 divided by 5 okay well at uh, interchanging this be careful because if you are um, uh, doing this calculation if you miss something your answer will be wrong so area is equal to 160 into 4 divided by 5 160 into 4 divided by 5 so this is 203 that is d square so d is equal to root So, 14.27. So, answer is 14.27. This is DE. Okay. So, we will note down this. This is 14.27. Area is in square feet 1.11. Next, we need to find friction loss. Friction loss is equal to 0 0.109136 into q to the power 1.9 q to the power 1.9 divided by d to the power 5.02 okay so 
ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஜீரோ நைன் ஒன் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் இன்ட்டு கியூ வேல்யூ வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் தௌசண்ட் டு தி பவர் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் நைன் டிவைடட் பை டிஇ ஃபோர்டீன் பாயிண்ட் டூ செவன் டு தி பவர் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ டூ ஸோ வி வில் சப்ஸ்டியூட் எவர் திங் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் தி ஆன்சர் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஜீரோ நைன் ஒன் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் இன்ட்டு தௌசண்ட் டு தி பவர் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் நைன் டிவைட் பை ஃபோர்டீன் பாயிண்ட் டூ செவன் டு தி பவர் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ டூ ஸோ வாட் வி ஆர் கேட்டிங் இஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஸோ வி வில் நோட் டவுன் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ எயிட் எயிட் ஸோ நவ் வி கேன் மெயின் தி சேம் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஓகே நவ் வி நீட் டு ஃபைண்ட் தி டபிள்யூ பை டி ஓகே ஃபார் டபிள்யூ பை டி வி வில் டேக் ரூட் ஆஃப் ஒன் சிக்ஸ்டி ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் ஸோ டுவெல் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் நைன் ஸோ நவ் மல்டிப்ளை டுவெல் இன்ட்டு டுவெல் வில் பி ஒன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் டுவெல் இன்ட்டு தேர்ட்டீன் இஸ் ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி சிக்ஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் இன்ட்டு தேர்ட்டீன் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஒன் சிக்ஸ்டி நைன் ஓகே வி கேன் யூஸ் திஸ் because greater than this but what we in standard available is only even numbers that size is in even numbers so 14 into 12 we calculate 168 so w by d we can use 14 by 12 okay so 14 by 12 is equal to 1.16 So, our 1.17 aspect ratio is well between, within the range. Okay. We are going to find for node 2. Okay. Now, we are having FL and Q. Using this, we can find out DE. Okay. Now, FL is equal to 0.109136 into FL. Q to the power 1.49 divided by D to the power 5.02. So what I need is G, DE. So DE to the power 5.09 is equal to 0.109136 into Q to the power 1.9 divided by friction loss. ஓகே நவ் எஃப்எல் சாரி டி டு தி ஃபார் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ டூ இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஜீரோ நைன் ஒன் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் இன்டு கியூ இஸ் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் வி ஷுட் நாட் கன்சர் தௌசண்ட் நவ் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டு தி பவர் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் நைன் டிவைட் பை FL is 14 point, sorry, FL is 0.088. So, answer is 09136 into 500 to the 0.109136 into 500. sorry 36 into 500 to the power 1.9 divided by 0.088 so what we are getting is some 16654.76 So now what we need is DE. So just select x to the power y within bracket put 1 divided by 5.02. So 
so answer is 10.968 so 10.97 10.97 so d is 10.97 so now we can find out the area so a is equal to 5 into 10.97 square divided by 4 is equal to to pi sorry pi into ten pi in nine seven square answer divided by four. So ninety four point five one. So now divided by 144 to get square feet okay now it's in inches so now what we want is into in square feet so 0 0.65 there may be some wrong mistake in my calculation just check with your calculator okay just 0 0.656 i doubt whether it's correct this value okay so now i we are having 94.51 so 94.51 square so 9 so we can put 10 into 10 okay 100 so this will be 10 into 10 aspect ratio is 1 no need to bother about velocity okay by this we can calculate this is a method for equal friction method okay but in, in india what they are using the friction loss they are keeping at 0.08 and abroad in other countries they are using 0.1 okay so what if they say we need to maintain the friction loss at this only then what to do for example if they want only the friction loss at 0.08 then you enter the 0.08 in all nodes and follow this step we are having friction loss so use this we know friction loss instead of 0 0.088 put 0 0.08 and find out d to the power 5.02 then find out the de then find out a and w by d okay okay thank you very much if you are having any doubts put in comment i will try to Clarify your doubts.